good morning cadets i welcome you back for the computer science class in the last till last session we studied about the operations on linear list like searching two techniques linear search binary search then insertion insertion into an unsorted array as well as unsorted array then we have seen deletion how to delete an element from a given linear list or an array then we have also seen some of the examples of uh, traversal that the traversal is the operation on that we have seen so many examples of how to travel an array for performing some operations on each element now we we'll move to the another operation on linear list that is sorting regarding the sorting uh what do you mean by a sorting we have to see now first okay sorting means arranging the list items in either ascending or descending order most of the procedure sorting algorithms use these purposes like bubble sort selection sort insertion sort shell sort quick sort heap sort merge sort etc but for our syllabus we have only bubble sort and insertion sort in class 11th already we have studied about these two sorting methods that is bubble and insertion and this time we'll see once again how to write the python programs by understanding the analytical analytically how the sorting takes place and then best we'll compare uh, both bubble as well as insertion sort in terms of performance what is a sorting it means arranging the elements or values in specific order ascending order or descending order for example we have a values of 7 4 8 3 1 5 0 in the list s1 its ascending order will be 1 3 4 5 7 8 and descending order will be 8 7 5 4 3 1 as we have discussed in the previous slide there are so many methods of sorting we will only see bubble and insertion sort so before moving on to the the python program let us try to understand what is exactly the bubble sorting last time i have explained on the board exactly how the bubble sorting takes place basically the bubble sorting by comparing the two adjacent elements the sorting takes place now to explain what is exactly the bubble sorting is each element is compared with adjacent elements and swap them if they are not in proper order what do you mean by swapping exchanging in bubble sorting there are n minus 1 passes and after every pass highest element is placed to its correct position what is the meaning of pass now here if you pick a first to a pair then the comparison over for all the pairs that will be called as a pass one next the comparison begins once again with the first pair and it will not consider the last element in as a part of pair that will be the second pass in this way suppose we have n elements we require n minus 1 passes and every pass start comparison from first element and compare and swap up to the unsorted elements so in each pass number of comparisons will be decreased by 1 for example at the end of the first pass okay the number of comparison reduced by 1 in the second pass two comparisons are reduced in third pass three comparisons are reduced so on let us sort using bubble sort we'll see how now we can see here index from 0 to 9 elements 17 6 12 1 8 4 21 10 7 5 how bubble sort will takes place let us see in pass 1 the pass 1 in the sense what the right from the beginning pair of elements compared till the last element or the last pair we can say elements are in random order and we will sort it using a bubble method 
we will first compare value at index 0 with value index and 1 that is the first two elements do you think that in case of ascending order both are in proper order no 17 is larger than the 6 therefore exchange is required so we will swap them now 6 will be first 17 will be next now our next comparison will be index 1 with index 2 that is 17 and 12 once again they are not in proper order swap them swapped now now we will compare index 2 with index 3 that is 17 and 1 once again they are not in proper order they are swapped now next pair is 17 and 8 are compared they are not in proper order therefore swapped next 17 and 4 will be compared not in proper order therefore it is swapped next 4 and 21 will be compared now here after swapping 4 and 17 now 17 will be compared with 21 they are already in proper order no need to swap 21 and 10 swapping is required now 21 and 7 swapping is required 21 and 5 swapping is required now we can see that the highest element that is 21 is placed at its last position that is the end of pass 1 from index 0 to index 8 is now unsorted part and from index 9 it is sorted part so in next pass we will compare only up to index 8 the sorted part will not consider in the pass number 2 in pass 1 total comparisons were 9 that is 10 n minus 1 10 elements were there 10 minus 1 9 comparisons now in pass 2 total comparisons will be how many now if you can tell me of course 8 comparison because one element is already in sorted order 10 minus 2 that is 8 comparisons will be less than 8 basically let us see now pass 2 if you see the previously 6 is the first element 21 is the last element first pair is compared no swapping second pair is compared swapping is required here swapping is required here swapping is required here swapping is not required here swapping is required here swapping is required here swapping is required now you can see second the highest element that is 17 is at its last but one position this is from index 8 to 9 elements are sorted so next sorting will be from 0 to 7th index at, at the end at the end of the first pass largest element will be at the last position at the end of the second pass second largest will be at the second position and now let us see how many <coughs> 6 and 1 compared swapping 6 and 8 no swapping 8 and 4 swapping required 8 and 12 no swap 12 and 10 required 12 and 7 no swap sorry 12 and 7 swapping is required 12 and 5 swapping is required and now you can see the third largest 12 will be moved to the third last position at the end of pass 3 now in pass 4 one six no exchange six four exchange six eight no exchange eight ten no exchange ten seven exchange is required then ten five exchange is required tenth is moved to the its correct position that is the now ten twelve seventeen twenty one are a sorted part of the array and one four six eight seven five are unsorted part now let us move to the pass five no exchange no exchange exchange require no no exchange 87 exchange required then 85 exchange is required 8 is moved to the fifth position now 8 is also a part of the sorted array now sorted part of the array now pass number 6 1 4 not required 4 6 not required 6 7 not required 7 5 required now at the end of the pass number 6 we have sixth smallest that is the sixth largest element seven will be in the sixth position there from the back end now let us move to the past seven no exchange no exchange exchange required there is the end of it after the past seven six will be moving there 
now let us move to the pass 8 1 and 4 no exchange 4 and 5 no exchange fifth is already there in its position now okay now pass number 9 no exchange is required hence everything is shown in color green now the meaning of which is the entire array is sorted this is how the bubble sort takes place now hope you must have understood how bubble sort works now how to write an algorithm for python function or for bubble sort in bubble sorting how many loops are required two loops outer loop will see the number of passes <coughs> if there are n element n minus 1 passes inner loop is used for comparisons from n minus i means when i is 1 for example when i is 1 what will happen no other than that what we can do let us say i is 0 first time we required all the comparisons next time one less means when i is 1 one less comparison when i is 2 two less comparisons are required that is how an algorithm from lower limit to upper limit i varies and j varies from lower limit to upper limit minus 1 or minus i whatever we say if a of j is greater than a of j plus 1 means if the elements are not in proper order then exchange will takes place otherwise exchange will not takes place now this is your program of python if you just see here okay let me explain this program how exactly it is then we will execute the program what is done here your a list is an, a linear list containing elements an unsorted array original list is displayed then length is found now every time i is the pass when i is 0 pass number 1 when i is 1 pass number 2 ok then j loop will vary from when i is 0 n minus 1 minus 0 means suppose there are how many elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 elements 7 minus 1 is 6 6 minus 0 is 6 6 comparisons 1 2 3 4 5 6 comparisons that is when i is 1 5 comparisons when i is 2 4 comparisons that's how this loop works if they are not in proper order exchanging will be done this is the exchange logic x minus x comma y equal to y comma x adjacent elements are exchanged isn't it j plus 1 will come in j j will come in j plus 1 after the after every pass we would like to display here what is the list now when i is 0 when the j loop completes okay first pass after first pass what is the list then i becomes 1 okay then after the second pass what is this when i becomes 3 after the third pass so total in this case there are 6 passes and after the 6th pass what is the list will be displayed at the end finally it will display the sorted list that is how the bubble sort works and let us see and execute the program on bubble sort now let me open okay here the program is already available whatever the here the number of elements are 7 original list displayed 7 i varies up to 0 to 7 minus 1 means 6 there are totally 7 passes here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so i varies from 0 now 0 to 7 minus 1 6 ok there are how many passes will be there now here i is 0 n is uh, 7 7 minus up to 1 ok 0 to 6 means there will be totally 7 passes will be there 1 2 number of passes must be 6 here ok accordingly right and in every pass there must be a comparison and exchange is done if it is required let us run and see finally how many passes it will be displayed so after every pass you would like to display what you can do if you want you can add here print list after i plus 1 
पास राइट लिस्ट आफ्टर आई प्लस वन पास द वैल्यू ऑफ ए लिस्ट लेट अस सी आफ्टर एवरी पास हाउ इट विल बी डिस्प्लेड ओके लेट मी एक्सिक्यूट एंड सी Now you see here <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven means actually there must be six passes only, isn't it? So first pass. After first pass, eight is moved. Next twenty-seven is moved here. Twenty-one is moved. Fifteen is moved here. Eight is moved here. Two is moved here, and one will be here, right? right okay now as per this one now suppose what will happen if i write here n minus 1 let us check how many passes how it will work totally six passes Original list one two three four five six. First pass here, second pass, third pass, fourth pass, fifth pass, sixth pass. Eh? Sorry. First pass, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I think only six passes are required, not the seven passes, isn't it? Because when these elements are already arranged, then the last first element is automatically in its place. This is how the element. Works for ascending order. Now, what are the changes we have to do for descending order? Now, can you check? Let us change this symbol to less than. Okay. Now it should work for descending order. You check here. Original list is twenty-one eight fifteen. So smallest will move here now. Second. <coughs> now. Third smallest, fourth smallest, fifth smallest, sixth smallest, and last seventh smallest. This is works for the descending order. So I will keep it as it is, ascending only. But for that symbol, you have to change for the. That's all about the. Um, your bubble sort. Okay. Now the output in the in this case for this list, the output looks like this. Original list, pass one, pass two. How many passes are shown here? Seven passes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, seven passes are not required. Six passes are enough. That is how you can have n minus one also. If you are starting from zero, x n minus one. If you are starting from one, it is n only. Right? Okay. Now that's the end of our bubble sort. Right? And we'd like to see the insertion sort in the next class we will in detail we will see how the insertion sort will also work and how the program is written for the same today we will see that the i i i hope all have understood the uh, bubble sort properly and you can also still understand